four-year-old and my five-year-old that your daddy was shot and killed. I could tell by looking at her that it was not going to be good. You, ju you just know. And uh, I went back and I told the chief that uh, she wasn't going to make it. I don't think we'll ever forget. I, I don't think anybody has. I don't think we ever will, like I said, but I don't think we're ever going to be as close as we were that moment. A police officer is killed in the line of duty every 53 hours in the United States. I can't delete his number. It's it's almost like if I delete his number, I'm, I'm admitting that he's not here. You know, that, that, he's, that he's gone. South Sac has 1199 in progress. Officer down, shots have been fired. When we have further, I will update you. They say time will heal. The only thing I can do now is hope I live long enough. These guys have hearts behind the badges, and I don't think the community knows that. Hey, Vale here. Now, hundreds of movies come out every year, but very few are hits. Here are America's top five highest grossing movies, adjusted for inflation, according to box office Mojo. Okay, number one, Gone with the Wind. Released in 1939, is one of the world's first genuine blockbusters, with a grand total of 1,786,074,500 dollars. Number two, Star Wars from 1977, the George Lucas space opera that launched a thousand action figures and almost as many sequels and prequels, still reigns supreme in the Star Wars universe, with a total take of 1,574,577,200 dollars. Number three, The Sound of Music from 1965, The Hills Are Alive, with the sound of 1,258,951,900 dollars in domestic ticket sales. Number four, E.T. The Extraterrestrial. The biggest movies of 1982 is also the fourth biggest movies of all time, with a grand total of 1,253,992,300 dollars. Number five, Titanic from 1997. James Cameron's award-winning film took in 1,197,594,300 dollars during its theatrical run. So, do you think that it's valid that these films made that much money? Let me know in the comments below. See ya.